Ah, yeah. After months of sitting in the garden, probably drinking a little bit more than we should, countless Zoom quizzes, prattling around in front of the camera, the lockdown restrictions have eased a little bit, which means now I am able to earn a little bit of money. I've never been out of work this long, and I was a little worried um, that it might have an effect, that sort of school summer holiday effect where you can't write when you go back in September. And after our first job a couple of days ago, uh, I realized I wasn't ready. I'd not wore a pair of pants in three months. I'd not driven on a motorway in three months. And that first day I found myself speeding on more than one occasion. So I had to rein it in a little bit. And generally, I just didn't want to go. <laughs> I wasn't ready. We still have a few um, weddings holding on in August, but from what I've been told, they're probably not going to happen. Um, and even a couple in September have started to move, so who knows when we're gonna restart with weddings. That particular section was actually filmed last month and a lot of things have changed as they are doing all the time. August weddings have all gone, September's are moving, October's are starting to ask, so who knows? <laughs> Back to the car. We've lost a few weddings on the way because of the postponements and cancellations, but luckily we've gained more than we've lost uh, over this two or three month period. So today we are off to a wedding venue who want to make a short video, sort of a reopening video if you will, um, once all the lockdowns are lifted, which is a good idea because there's barely any staff present so there won't be any issues with keeping the two metre distance. Like most businesses, and especially in our sort of sector, we've had to adapt. Uh, we, I've noticed uh, a lot of photographers are doing sort of family portrait sessions to keep the cash flow going. Luckily, we might source quite a bit of work uh, with sort of schools and hospitality sector. Just as an example, we've shot uh, four or five, I think five schools uh, over the past month sort of making virtual open evenings because the kids and the parents can't look around and we get the teachers talking about the transition from uh, junior school to high school and it has had a change on how we're working so now it's more of a nine to five structure which i haven't worked that way in quite a few years so it's nice to have the weekends back not that we can really go anywhere now when this thing first started back in march i was one of those it was a little naive and thought we'll be shooting weddings back in june now, as of the 13th of July, today, um, I am thinking or hoping that we are going to be, not back to normal, but hoping to be shooting weddings again in October. Now, I'm just gonna wait to see if a future version of me is gonna interject because of some new news. Nope, I'll carry on. Okay, if anything happens sooner, fine, but back to shooting weddings in October. Now, what does that mean after? Right, okay, so when it comes to 21, which we already had bookings for before this outbreak, um, and now we've had to move most of 2020 to 21, which means 2021 is gonna be a very busy year for everybody, not just as everybody. So what will that mean? So this year, 2020, we, had no social life because we weren't allowed out. In 2021, we will have no social life because we can't go out because we're all editing or working. So for us, if everything stays as it is now and everything's on track, it'll probably be 2022 when we get back to normal, whatever that might be. Yes, Marvin? 